from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for watching us, supporting us, and showing us so much love. Thank you. This is a farewell, y'all. This has been such an amazing journey and we couldn't have done it without you guys. So thank you to every single one of you who watched this show. Love y'all. And then I realized no one was doubting me except for me. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Insecure, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're going to be talking about Insecure Season 5, Episode 10, the series finale. This is the recap, man, and this is it, man. This is the final episode of Insecure. Now, I would have had this recap out a little bit earlier for you guys, but due to the holidays, your boy was a little bit busy, but now it is time to go ahead and go over this final episode. And man, what a bittersweet moment watching this final episode. It really had me thinking about how everything started and to see how everything ended in the final episode, it was a telling story. So we're gonna talk about that now. The title of the episode is called, Everything is Gonna Be Okay. And the description for the episode reads, as she and her friends try to make time for each other, no matter what, Issa looks back on all it took to get to where she is today. So those are the key elements of this final episode of Insecure. And now it is time to go over the recap. Now I'm going to try to just focus on, you know, the important parts of this episode. If you feel like I missed anything, leave it down below. So what did we see in episode 10? Now this episode starts off exactly where we left off in the last episode. Issa and Nathan are having a conversation about what happened. Um, your boy Nathan, he's like, man, I can't do this no more. This is just entirely too much. It's just too toxic for me. And, you know, I got to step away. And now Issa understands, like, okay, you know, it's time to move on. He doesn't want to be with me. He doesn't like everything that's going on. And now it is time for the breakup, which a lot of fans have already been talking about. I mean, we knew this was eventually going to happen. At least that's what I have been thinking, that this was going to happen. Now, Issa, she's like, man, I'm going through so much. I need to just fast forward to some place in my life that I am actually doing good. So this is when we get the time jumps. We get to uh, a year later. It is, of course, Molly's birthday. Your girl Kelly, she done found her a new boo. And this is very surprising because we usually don't see Kelly with nobody like that. But now it seems like her life is doing a little bit better. Of course, Tiffany comes back into town. Remember, they had an agreement that for each of the birthdays that they was always going to meet up with each other no matter what. Now, this is also the last birthday party that Molly is going to be able to spend, you know, her final moments with her mother with, which also was bittersweet. And I believe that it was kind of building up as far as something happening to her mother this season, especially in the episode that Molly had to make sure everything was in line for her mother and if she was to pass and then we get to Issa's birthday of course she is surprised and we also find out that you know her company the block is still doing well we we know we learned information about her and Crenshaw still doing business together so we understand that is the route that she has taken as far as her career now Nathan decides to pop up to the party and to be honest with you guys this needed to happen Issa needed disclosure and apparently Nathan needed disclosure as well. Of course, he brings a card um, for Issa, you know, for, of course, her appreciation and the things that she has done for his barbershop. They all gave her love, but they needed disclosure, needed to just talk about what happened. And of course, Nathan is telling her he didn't want to end things like this, but it is what it is. But I am glad that the two had a final conversation. And finally, Issa can move on from this because I always believe that her and Nathan was not going to work out. Now, some people believe that her and Nathan should have been together, but due to the things that he has been going through and the stuff that East is going through, I didn't feel like it was the time for them to be together, in my opinion. And you can already just feel those feelings that she had for Lawrence. It was still up in the air. So I believe she needed just to step away anyway. Then we get to Tiffany's birthday, and we already knew Tiffany. We knew how she was feeling about Denver. She does not like it there at all. She wants to be closer to her friends. But of course, you know, Derek, he has the job there. So she is accepting her new lifestyle. But they are all still hanging out, which is a good thing. 
Now your girl Issa, she looks at one of the pictures. She sees Lawrence and his kid and she is feeling some type of way. As I told you, we know that Issa still has those feelings for Lawrence and they need to have a conversation eventually. Now, sadly, Molly gets bad news about her mother passing away. Um, like I told you, they kind of hinted at this earlier on in the season. We knew that this was a possibility of something that could happen and it actually did happen. Very sad. This was probably one of the saddest moments of the episodes to see her like this, especially after all the work Molly did in that episode to make sure that her mother was good. But at least Molly did step up to the plate and take care of things, something that all of us needs to do in real life. Make sure that our parents is good. So when they pass, you know, it's going to be more of a smooth selling. You don't have different family members arguing over who's going to get what. Um, and this is what I believe they were trying to show us this season but man that was sad man seeing molly like that then we get to lawrence's birthday and Issa decides to call him up on his birthday knowing that it was going to be a high chance that he would be doing something but she said you know what i'm gonna call him anyway just to see just to test the waters and you can tell deep down inside that lawrence he was feeling it and that he actually wanted to go and hang out with Issa, but he already had plans. He already had plans to meet up with another young lady, clap her cheeks, but you can already tell from his facial expressions that he still had, you know, he still had feelings for Issa and that he really wanted to hang out with her. Then we get to your girl Kelly's birthday party, and man, Kelly, she was a, a huge surprise factor for me in this episode. Of course, her and her new boo, they're gonna be having a baby. And I really felt happy for her because we know we don't use we're not used to seeing Kelly in relationships and stuff like that throughout the whole series, to me at least. And for her to be, you know, improving her life and starting a family, that is great. And Issa, she is thinking the same thing. She's like, man, even Kelly doing good. Like, I need to get myself together. Everybody's moving on with their lives. And I'm still trying to figure out what I want and what I need to be doing. And y'all already know how Issa is. She goes into that mirror. She has those split personalities talking to herself. And Issa's like, man, I got to figure this out. You know what I'm saying? I have to do something. Lawrence is tr trying to call her. Issa, of course, she's about to get her cheeks clapped. She ain't answering this, but she wants to. You know what I'm saying? She wants to answer it so bad. Like I told you guys, these feelings are still there. And throughout the episode, you already know they were building up for Issa and Lawrence to get back together. Now, we get back to Molly's birthday and Molly of course is going through some feelings because her mother is not there but this is life this is something that she's going to have to you know get through each and every year but we know she has Issa and her friends there to support her and make sure she has the strength to move on without her mother and then finally we get Issa and Lawrence they finally had this conversation the conversation that we've been waiting you know for a long time for them to have especially one-on-one -on -one actually in the same scene together by themselves and they decide to say you know what stop being scared let's just take the risk let's just go for it you know what i'm saying we've been through so much this time around no fear at all we're going to accept whatever comes our way so the two finally make it official isa and lawrence they finally get together this is something that isa ray has said she has always planned out um that lawrence and her will you know have a happy ending I know a lot of people was kind of upset. Some people were happy. Some people wanted Issa to be with somebody else. At the end of the day, this is the path that they had chose for Issa. And it definitely seemed like it was going very well for her. Now we get to a whole year later and your girl Molly, she is getting married to Torian and things are on the up and up for her. Just think about how we saw Molly at the very beginning of the series, man. She's been through so much and based on her past, we know that she did not have the best of luck when it came to dating and getting in serious relationships. But this time around, everything is finally going well for her. And, you know, as far as her chemistry with Torian, it looks very, very solid in my opinion. Of course, they have pictures of her mother um, at the wedding, just giving, you know, that respect to her moms. Like I said, Molly definitely stepped up this final episode. And I'm glad that they ended out her story the way that they did. And then we get to the final scene with Issa and Molly actually in the same scene together physically, right? And to me, this was a very, very sad scene, the most emotional scene, because we know 
everything that these two have been through since the very beginning and as they are talking to each other that's all i really can think about like man like this show is really coming to an end and they've been through so much so it was a lot of real emotions in the final scene between Issa and molly and you know as far as their endings i would say they definitely ended well in my opinion you guys let me know man what do y'all think about that whole molly and Issa scene the two girls they love each other man and they've been through so much now after that we see Issa, and as, you know as far as her company the block everything is going good as i told you guys Issa does uh, a ride through of some of the most iconic places throughout the series of insecure and we get that bittersweet moment once again of course she's rolling around you know those original apartments that we have known to love to see each and every season and she rolls around a lot of different places i believe she rolls around um best buy as well we know lawrence worked there and a lot of other spots as well but man they definitely knew what they were doing by having Issa right around to those spots just giving the fans one last look of how it started and of course on how it all ended like i told you guys man this has been a very bittersweet episode and i know a lot of fans is like man insecure is actually ending just think about it man this has been a long time coming a long time coming now of course at the end of the episode it is once again Issa's birthday and it seems like the co-parenting thing between um, your boy Lawrence and Condola is going very well. Her son seems like he has a great relationship with Issa. He has made her a cake. And of course, he tried to spell her name. A very funny scene. But as far as the chemistry goes, Lawrence and Issa has great chemistry. And the kid has great chemistry with Issa. And this whole happy ending for her, I guess, after all the stuff that she's been through throughout the whole series... It makes a lot of sense for her because she's been through so much. And now she's like, look, you know, it is time to have a great life. And of course, we get to the final moment of the episode. Issa once again, staring through the mirror, you know, probably reminiscing about how her journey on this show started and also how it all ended. And then we get to the final scene between Issa and Molly. We know that Molly is in Greece on her honeymoon with Torian and Torian. He is tearing those sheets up tearing them up right and of course they give us you know the old school joke from the earlier seasons of insecure when molly talking about her box was broke and we know that Issa used to tell uh, molly this in the earlier seasons of insecure so it was very funny very very funny i'm glad that they ended it like this um, what a great series a very great series and to be honest i believe that Issa ray she was ready for this series to be over she's been so busy with other projects um we know that Insecure, it has been delayed a few times because she was very busy doing other things. At the same time, we know that COVID was a factor as well. But Issa Rae, man, this has been a long journey for her. I've been following her since YouTube, since the awkward black girl. This is how I found her. And when they announced Insecure as being the show on HBO, I was very excited to see what she was going to bring to the table. And she made it a great show. You know, she told us, her stories, stories that we all can relate to, stories that when I watch, I'm like, man, I can relate to that. You know, I've been through some of those things in college and after college, and I'm glad that Issa Rae was able to express herself along with the rest of the cast members, you know, express those different stories that we all go through um, in daily life. But thank you guys. Thank you guys for supporting me and supporting Insecure. This was probably one of my first shows I started to recap when I first started YouTube and I'm glad that I was able to continue to watch the show and finish, you know, doing my final recaps for this series. A great time, man. A great time. But thank you guys for all the love, all the support. You let me know what did you think about Insecure, the whole series in itself. Leave it all down below, man. I will catch y'all on the next one. But um, let me get up on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.